Welcome back to Cradle to Grave R. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take the output of an R uh, a data frame and output it to an Excel file, but with a little catch. We're gonna add some styling to the table in Excel. So that being said, we're gonna jump right to it using the OpenXLSX package, which I've learned to love in the past couple days. So I hope that you guys can follow along and build the same thing. Please like and subscribe and keep watching my videos. I really appreciate your support. And I noticed that the Discord channel is starting to pick up a little bit. There's a couple of uh, people on there that are uh, answering questions and it's, it's getting pretty active. Thanks to Zach on there who's kind of killing it with answering these questions. So I appreciate that. Let's start with um, our basic library that you should already have installed called OpenXLSX. I like to jump right into these. Let's make these short and sweet and to the point. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a worksheet. We're going to create a workbook, a worksheet, and then we will see and test to see what kind of changes we make with that and how it affects the actual um, style. So basically what I want to do is I want to create a workbook first. So WB, we just call it workbook equals. And how simple can it get? Add workbook, right? Or create workbook. It kind of reminds me of... Um, VBA code actually create workbook and we can call it whatever we want. This is kind of internal to um, To us internal to R saying hey this workbook object is called what so we'll just call it my workbook How about we just call it workbook object? One boom that sounds good for me. So the workbook object has been created now. It's not written to file or anything It's an object in RAM that R is going to take care of in fact up here if I go to the environment you should have a workbook object. It actually says object containing binary code or something or a binding, right? So that's not that important, but all right, now let's create a worksheet into this workbook. So we're gonna just use the um, add worksheet. I'm getting used to this and I kind of like it so far. So I'm gonna add the worksheet to my workbook that I just created. I know it's a little confusing, but um, so we'll add it. We're gonna call it the Iris data set. And I think we'll do grid lines equals false too. Yeah, yeah. Grid lines equals false. And just add that worksheet and now we should have that. Now we can't really see anything until we write this data to the to the file. So let's just do save workbook. And which workbook? Our WB workbook that's named WB object one. And we'll just call this file name, we'll just call it the same thing, WB object one dot xlsx it does not have to be the same it could be whatever you want and i'm going to use override equals true because we'll be writing this a few times and it just works better for me that way boom so we created that um, i'm going to go ahead and open that up now so wb object is what we just created and it's got nothing in it which is as as expected but it does have the iris tab in there and you can see there's no grid lines just like we we asked it to do so everything is working fine. Let's keep this short and sweet. We're gonna keep save workbook down below a little bit. We're gonna add a couple things. So let's start with uh, populating the data. So we're gonna do the write data, remember? Write data, and then we're gonna write data to what? Our workbook. Our sheet is equal to, we can either say the number one because it's our first one, or let's just be a little bit more clear and say our worksheet is equal to uh, iris. That way, if we move them around, we don't have to worry about the indexing being changed. So we want to create, uh, add that data. I want to add the iris data set, and I can say row names equals true, so I can get the actual names of the iris data set. So write that data, I can save it. Now go back, and here we go, WB object. We have our actual data, we have row names here. Well, we have row numbers, which we really don't need, but. Yeah, maybe we do, I don't know. But anyways, we also have our header up here. But as you can see, the column widths don't show them all and it's just not very aesthetically pleasing. So let's go ahead and make it aesthetically pleasing. Let's close this bad boy up. And let's start with, I guess the simple one would be, I guess, uh, column set column width. So set call widths. And with that one, you'd say workbook. What sheet? Well, sheet one or the iris worksheet, I think should work. Um, we're gonna say columns equals one through six, just playing widths. Widths equals 21, we'll just go with that. Boom, save the workbook again. And I'm only saving this and showing you so you can do a step-by-step -step and see that it's actually working, right? So that's definitely spaced out quite a bit. 
right? So that's good enough for now. It's not the prettiest, but it's getting better. So let's continue down that path. Let, let us now set some sort of style, right? So we're gonna do a add style. Actually, before we add the style, we'll create the style. So we'll call it a header style. Well, we can call it whatever we want. We'll just call it header S. Header S is equal to create style. So we're gonna create the style using that function from the package. All right, font size, font name. You can change all these different um, parameters. I'm gonna do font size 15. I will do font color is equal to, um, I think it's only gonna take hex, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's just go to this handy dandy site. Color picker, I wanna pick a color that's kinda of light blue maybe. Here's my hex code, I'm gonna copy that. I know it's real small for you guys, maybe I can blow it up. Mm, there it is, still small, but that's the idea, so I'm just gonna paste that in there. I guess we'll see if it takes lowercase letters or not, comma. So there's our font color. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add for this particular header, now the header is the top part, don't forget. I will do, uh, the alignment so horizontal alignment h align is equal to center and then we can do foreground and background and all that so foreground fill equals and we can pick another color I'll just do well I can't do the same color so let's just pick another color uh, it's probably going to be ugly but I'm going to go ahead and pick this color here boom paste it in there with a little pound symbol that's our foreground color and then we can do borders if we'd like. So border equals, uh, we want the top and bottom border. And we can of course give the border a color as well. I wish I knew what border color black was so I didn't have to keep going back to the site. But let's just say, let's do this color. That sounds fun. There we go, border color equals that. And I think we're good to go on our header. There we go. Now you can see the whole thing. I have this headers thing here. Um, I changed my border color because it had two hashtags on there. So I hope you could see some of that. We'll see. Uh, headers is create that style. Invalid font color. Ooh, I can't win. Why do I get these two hashtags in there? <laughs> Try it again. All right, that worked. Now that we've added a header, which is a create style object that's also from the open XLS package, we have to add that style. So add style and basically we add it to what? Our workbook and our sheet equals one or sheet equals iris. And I believe we just say header S. Where do we wanna add it? Rows equals one. I want it on the first row and I want it on columns one through six. One through six. And grid expand is equal to true. Add style, save the workbook. Let's take a quick peek. Bada bing. Bada boom, wow. I thought I was gonna make this prettier and it is not, but you get the idea. So that's how we create the header. Of course, once you get this perfected, it's it's gonna be uh, a lot easier to um, repeat. So that's cool though. We've got that already figured out right there. We're, we're getting closer. All right, so that's our header. Let's create a quick, uh, so we added the style. We added the um, first style. Let's do a body style, so body S. So body S is gonna be equal to, and we do create style again. So create style, it's just it's just that simple. Then we start filling in the parameters again, right? And I'm only creating these headers and uh, uh, these separate objects because it's easier to manipulate instead of putting everything into an add style. I could have instead of, I don't know if you can see right here, but where headers is, I could have put all of this information in there and that's just too much. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this. And hopefully this time you can see it all. So my body S, my body style is create style and I'm gonna add all of my parameters here. And so we will do um, a border is equal to top bottom and a border color is equal to, and we'll just pick a pound for F81BD, boom. That should do it for our body style. I think something as simple as that. So we do the same thing, add styles, except we have to give it an actual um, um, dimensions. So add style workbook, sheet equals one. 
uh, I want to bring in my body style equals to, right? And so we want basically all the other rows, right? So rows two through whatever. So rows equals two through, um, I'm not sure the number. So for now, because we don't know how to do it program programmatically quite yet, let's just go rows two through uh, 151, right? That ought to do the trick. Two through 151. And I know there's a way to do this programmatically. I'm just not there yet. So give me just a moment. And of course, we want our columns to equal just the one through six again, right? And then, of course, we will do grid expand equals true. Now we should be good to go. Why is that lit up again? I must be doing something wrong here. OK, that's closed. Oh, I have an extra parenthesis. There we go. So bodies or body style, add style, save the workbook. Let's jump back in to the workbook and take a look. There we go. Now, it's not the prettiest. Don't get me wrong. You can use some cable extra or some other uh, style R uh, to create some way better styles. But the whole point of this is to just kind of show you that you can set all kinds of parameters. You can set the author name. You can set, um, a, a, you can set the tab colors with OpenXLSX. And that's all we have for today. I wanted something quick and simple. That way you can get started on your journey with creating some cool Excel sheets for your management. <laughs> but if you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. Every time you do, you're helping me out. And I appreciate all of your effort. And join the Discord. Bye.